Hi, I'm Beck. I'm a PhD student here in the training center for future crops. And today I'm going to show you how to do uh, leaf disc rotation, which is an indirect measure of the rate of photosynthesis. Um, for plants to photosynthesize, they need um, carbon dioxide, light and water. And they take this in and then they use it to make glucose and oxygen. So what we do is we cut up leaf pieces <laughs> and then we put them in two different solutions. One is water with um, baking soda, which um, serves as a carbon source for the leaves. And then one is our negative control of just water. And they both have detergent in them to help break up the waxy cuticle on the leaf to help um, the solution get into it better. So once we get these solutions into our leaves, um, we put them under this light source, which causes them to photosynthesize. So they'll make oxygen, which will build up on the um, surface of the leaf and cause them to float. So I'm doing it today with spinach leaves, which work really well. So you take your leaf, usually I cut it into some thin strips, like so. And then usually it's most efficient if you just stack them on top of each other like this, and then cut some more into some smaller pieces just small squares. And then we take a syringe, pull out the bottom, and then we put our leaf pieces into here, just blocking the bottom. So chuck them in here. We then take one of our solutions. Here I'm gonna show you how to do it with the baking soda, which has carbon, which will allow them to photosynthesize. So I fill it about halfway. and then block the bottom like this. And then this allows us to tip it over. And what we wanna do is we want to remove all the air in here. This. And push all of the air out. The detergent makes it really easy to see where the air is because you can see all the bubbles. And then what we, we, what we wanna do is we want to use a syringe to make a vacuum to suck all the air spaces out all the air out of the leaves and push our solution of baking soda into the leaf spaces. So to do that, we got all the air removed and then we just pull really hard a few times. And then give it a good shake. And we should see our leaves sink. So once they've sunk, we know that the air inside them has been replaced with our solution and we're good to go. So then you block the end to tip it upside down and then well, you do it like this. Um, pull this all the way down so it's easier to pull the bottom of the syringe out and tip it upside down again. Pull out the syringe and then tip it into our beaker. So you can then top it up a bit to make it easier to see if they float. Just double check that they all do sink. And then you can pull out any of the ones that are still floating. Sometimes it's difficult to get them all to sink. And then what we do is we put it under a light source and we can time how long it takes for them to float. So I'll just go set up a negative, negative to control and then we can compare them under the light. <laughs> 